With us tonight, I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Emily McLeod. You're watching News 6 at 530. Matt is off tonight, but before we get to those stories, we head to Castleberry tonight where a family is sifting through what used to be their home. The Seminole County Fire Department posting these photos on social media around 6 this morning as crews fought the fire on Crestview Lane. Our crews got to the scene a couple hours after that as the cleanup began. Tonight, News 6's Catherine Silver checks in with the family who walks us through what this whole ordeal has been like. I spoke with the woman who lives in this house. Her name is Andrea. She was inside with her husband, their kids and their friends. There was no smoke alarm to alert them. She just happened to be awake. I was up about uh, 430 in the morning and um, I started smelling smoke and we opened the laundry room door. Uh, there was flames everywhere. What went through your mind? You're a mom, your kids are here, some of their friends, your family. Yes, well, of course, I, I just started screaming. There's a fire, there's a fire, get out, get out. That's all that went through my mind is just getting the kids out. Thank goodness you were awake. Yes, thank God for that because I don't know if the smell would have wake, woke anybody else up. And you said you have some burns? Yes, uh, well, a minor, minor burn right here on my wrist. And then um, now I have a rash from the fiberglass. And everyone else is okay? Everybody else is okay. Nobody's burnt, nobody's hurt. Um, and you have a dog too who's okay? I have t uh, two dogs, two puppies, and they're safe as well. It's so unreal. I would never imagine my home like this. It's my living room. You told me everything inside the house is gone, but it's especially difficult to part with some personal items. Yes. So my mother passed away uh, last year and all her pictures are burned. And um, that's really hard to deal with. Those are the memories I have with her and that's really hard. It's chaos. I just, I know I seem calm, but I'm just, I'm in shock. You just have to figure out what's next. For you and your family? Yeah, and I just need to see, you know, what I'm going to do next. We need to see what we're going to do next. And Andrea says this could not have happened at a worse time, right after Christmas, and then it was her son's birthday. She says she also recently had surgery, so she's not able to work right now, and her family does not have any insurance for this home. They have started a GoFundMe page to help, and the Red Cross is also assisting. In Seminole County, I'm Katherine Silver, getting results, News 6.